worked on the AK-50 for years. If only we knew it was this easy. The comments seem to think so. How far do we let him go? Well, if he dies, we'll have to get a real job. All right, let's test fire. Bullet. Tourniquet? AK-50 V2.5. Going hot. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we are revisiting an old video, and by an old video, I mean a video we did like two months ago. We dared to ask the question that only about a half dozen gun tubers before us decided to ask, uh, can you fire a 50 BMG out of a shotgun? And we did, we fired it out of the JTS-12. Technically the first YouTubers to fire a 50 BMG out of an AK shotgun, because we do that here. So in that video, we demonstrated that the shotgun could technically survive, because the brass fire formed. It basically became a straight cylinder of brass. You lost all the pressure and that 50 BMG cartridge or the, the, the projectile basically limply fell down the barrel because it didn't really have any tight barrel. This is sounding sexual. It didn't have anything to keep the pressure, which is what gives it the velocity to actually do the damage that 50 BMG is known for. But damn, did it look cool. We even did a second round where we used a 3D printed kind of brace to kind of simulate a little bit more rigidity in the chamber, kind of give it something, basically try to make it more likely to explode. We did give it a lot more energy, as you can see from the video, but it wasn't enough. And if you missed that video, it's probably because you're not subscribed, which luckily for us is something that you can fix. And if you're really feeling froggy, you can go ahead and hit that notification bell. Now we were shooting this at gallons of milk to show the difference in energy uh, between the two tests, most of which is still on the gun in several spots. So you know that this is the actual shotgun we used for that test. But we figured in the name of science, we owed it to ourselves and to you to go a step further. So what we did is we took a 50 BMG barrel blank and we turned it to the exact diameter of the original JTS-12, 12, 12 gauge barrel. So it's a chambered barrel blank, we've got a real 50 BMG chamber here, and we have the same dimensions as the original barrel. As you can see, it still fits all the press fits. It press fit right into the front trunnion here, and the, uh, the gas block fits and everything like that. So we did not really alter the dimensions in any way that's going to compromise the gun. All we're doing is giving the 50 BMG the proper support that it needs to grow up big and strong. It's got a fucking grenade. This gun's gonna blow up. But before I show you our totally not dangerous at all setup, first an oddly appropriate word from our sponsor. That sponsor, of course, is SDI or the Sonoran Desert Institute. So if you're interested in gunsmithing and doing the kind of stuff that we're doing in the video today, all right, bad example, today's video might be a little bit far, but if you're interested in gunsmithing, SDI is a great place to start. They're a great place to get started if you're looking at being in the gun industry and doing the kind of stuff that we do. If you wanna check them out, go ahead and check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. And we appreciate their support of the channel. Back to the 50. So one of the reasons we're doing this test today is to address some of the comments that we get on YouTube all the time. And here to represent that, we have our friend Eli. Holy shit, you're Mexican? The other thing we get in the comments all the time, Eli. Why don't you just chamber that in 50 cal? Yeah, so a lot of people seem to be under the impression that you could just take a regular AK and just put a 50 BMG barrel on it. That's the way it works in Call of Duty Vanguard. That's incorrect. It's uh, it's not the case, and uh, we're going to take a significantly beefed up version of that in a 12 gauge uh, pattern AK, and we're going to show you exactly why you can't do that. And if this does work, um, well, I hope you guys know a good self harm. Uh, hotline that we can call but holy shit he's mexican so here is our range test setup for today let me show you its features so we have our jts of course with our 50 bmg barrel in it it's actually we went kind of high effort with this i do want to talk about uh the barrel is properly pinned in place just as it should be we even have a gas block on it is that do we bother even drilling a gas port yep really <laughs> okay, this should be fun. So here we have the lead sled uh, flanked by two cinder blocks to keep it in place where we are going to be resting the weapon when we pull the trigger. When I say pull the trigger, I mean we're going to be pulling it with a piece of string because I don't want to be anywhere near this fucking thing. 
and also to demonstrate things that I just think are going to be hilarious to watch from afar, uh, we have our shooter, our simulated shooter here, who we have nicknamed Scott for no particular reason at all. So for me, I, I don't think the question is going to be, is this gun going to fail? I think the real question is, what part is going to fail? Is it going to be the barrel that bursts? Is it going to be the locking lugs on the, uh, on the bolt? Is the receiver just going to split wide open? What is going to happen to this gun? Go ahead and leave your predictions down in the comments. No cheating. I'll know if you do. All right, so before we get this thing loaded and really fucking dangerous, what do we think? Zach, what are, what are your predictions? What do you think is going to fail? Uh, if I had to guess, I think the barrel right in front of the chamber, where it's pretty thin, like right where the shoulder is, I think it's going to split right there. Okay, Nick? I think the uh, carrier's definitely coming out the back. I think that's probably fair. Eli, I don't care. Um, I think that things are probably going to burst from the chamber end. I think that's pretty fair to say. I'm sorry, did you, did you have something to add? Okay, that's what, what I fucking thought. Okay, so now we're going to load up our 50 BMG cartridge. We just have a basic, you know, Lake City uh, 50 BMG right here. And I just want to compare this where it's going to sit in the chamber. How thick this casing is and how long this cartridge is compared to the barrel itself. You can see why we're all a little sketched out by this. So uh, I'm going to put on my eyes uh, before I load this up. But let's... Uh, Pitter patter, let's get at her. Take it further off safety, cool. Here we go. As you can see now, there's a lot less wobble here because that is actually firmly now seated. The 50 BMG cartridge here. And, oh, this is seriously like arming a hand grenade. That was so sketchy. So now we're gonna do the super sketchy part the string on the trigger. Awesome. As if, <laughs> it, okay, we're doing one of the super sketchy parts. So now we're gonna feed this back around and we are gonna get behind some cover. So hopefully if anything comes straight back with, uh, I guess, ferocious velocity, uh, it's gonna hit that steel silhouette first. So a uh, silhouette like that will do a pretty pretty decent job stopping an actual 50 BMG projectile. Should do at least okay stopping <laughs> immediate threats to my life as far as shrapnel. Plastic barrel just to stop any of the big chunks. Bootleg AK-50 in three, two, one. So I'm judging by the amount of shit I heard clanking everywhere. Um, plenty, uh, plenty of shit just exploded. Let's go check it out. Eli's darting off in the fucking woods over here because I think that's where part of the gun landed. So let's, uh, let's see what we got up here. It knocked over the target, which is fucking impressive. Uh, yeah, this whole thing ate shit. Holy shit. Okay, so we've got our, our gas tube. It's actually relatively intact, although the furniture's kind of torqued. Uh, oh, we split our bag open. I should have saw that coming. We have our, <laughs> our back half of the JTS-12. Uh, oh God, just, it was enough force to just split the mag well here. That's fucking interesting. Sheared directly through the pins that retain the barrel up here. Barrel just came flying straight out the front, I think. Yeah, fuck, locking lugs are smeared. Dust cover. Holy shit, that's the dust cover? Yeah. <laughs> How far is that, like 50 yards? Yeah, that's a solid, like, set, uh, yeah, 50 to 75 yards. Jesus Christ. So we've got our bolt back here. Uh, locking lugs are completely just sheared, smattered, beat to shit. Uh, the bolt is actually seized. Oh, no, okay, okay, I can, I can break free. That's good. The back of it, um, completely smashed, I'm assuming, into your trunnion here. No? I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, well, also our selector is not in the gun anymore. That's cool. So just completely loosey-goosey sideways. Our dust cover <laughs> did a pretty good job of uh, protecting the hypothetical shooter. However, I did hear quite a lot 
of impact on that. So let's go ahead and consult the high speed. And by high speed, I mean what slow motion we can afford. Okay, we're not actually fucking Mythbusters here. We still haven't found the barrel yet. It's fucking somewhere. Uh, we found out, so this is the bolt carrier tail. It's completely just, you could see, just blue steel in there from just heat and pressure because it apparently smacked this at like Mach 10 and left a piece of the tail in the target. We found a piece of casing. This is part of that 50 BMG. Um, the rest, all right, uh, TBD, I guess we'll, I have a feeling we might find a piece of it in the barrel, wherever the fuck that went. So I just found the barrel. It is all the way, like, seriously, like, we didn't fucking stage this. We're just like, we were looking for the barrel. We almost didn't find it. Holy fuck, dude. It's actually remarkably intact. It just, well, okay. Intact is relative. It rocket manned off the front of the fucking gun. You could see the where the two barrel pins on this were. The two smaller barrel pins up front completely sheared past it and broke the end of the chamber here. Yeah, it's the whole neck of the casing. Yeah, I figured as much. I could see the ridge there. So we've got the front half of the casing is, yeah, you could feel it flat out. I'm not going to literally Chinese finger trap myself here. But yeah, the front of the casing is stuck in the chamber here. And just the whole barrel assembly just flung forward, which is hilarious because the barrels over here, this is what, 50 yard, 40 yard mark, something like that. Barrel flew 50 yards forward, leaving the gas tube and the gas puck basically static where it was, so it just fucking sent out the front. Hey boss, uh, I don't know, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but why the recoil spring assembly at the front of the gun? So, what did we learn? Well, 50 BMG is a son of a bitch. In fact, after looking for no shit, probably about 10 minutes, this is uh, what we found. We found, I would say, the majority of this gun. We still don't know where the fucking rim is at, but uh, let's see, firing pin is permanently, oh this is good, I just noticed this, permanently fixed forward, but if you want to zoom in here, it is a permanent tramp stamp on the fucking bolt, the Lake City brass rim from that 50 BMG casing, smacked that bolt so fucking hard it left. Uh, a good old mushroom stamp there on the uh, on the bolt head. So yeah, it, it would be a little easier for me to go through what parts of this gun didn't end up breaking. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more of an intensive torture test than the gun was made for, but really it's a really good example of why when people are like, oh, well, a shotgun will survive having 50 BMG fired through it. Yeah, well, it's because you're not actually getting the force of 50 BMG uh, because it's, again, fire forming you're just losing all your energy, right? You're not, you're not getting any of the velocity, any of the, just the normal, what you get out of a 50 cal. So yes, it will technically, don't fucking try this at home, but technically it could fire without exploding, depending on the gun and the ammo. But if you actually try to fit 50 BMG forces into something that's meant for the much more tame, think about that for a minute, much more tame, uh, 12 gauge shotgun, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. And Keep in mind, this was not round 100 through it, or round, you know, 2000, we had a catastrophic malfunction. Catastrophic malfunction on the first round, predictably. And this is not a normal catastrophic malfunction either. This is like a catastrophic fucking, uh, yeah, category five hurricane catastrophic malfunction. I have a feeling you'd have to do a little bit more than put a thumb in it. So let this be a lesson to you. Uh, if you're gonna be doing your fucking around, Please, for the love of God, know what you're doing, do it safely, and if you're gonna do it, do it on the internet. And if you can't tell, that was a joke. I don't wanna see any of you guys ending up on Darwin Awards, especially not for doing some dumb shit like this. Anyhow, guys, I hope this video was educational for you, and if not, I hope you just had a good time seeing some shit get blown up. Uh, appreciate all the, uh, all the gents who were out here helping me with this video. I think it was fun, and uh, yeah. Now maybe you guys will have a little bit of patience when you're talking about understanding why you have to kind of overbuild a 50 BMG. Now, if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure that you are. I'm not gonna say we do shit like this often, but I'm also not gonna say that we don't. We do, we do some dumb shit around here. Also, 
wearing the uh, Let's Go Brandon shirt over from Bunker Branding. I'll leave the links down in the description in the pinned comment for that. Appreciate you guys staying to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Range pickup's gonna be weird today. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. We dared ask the question only a couple dozen YouTubers asked before us, which is can you fire a 50 BMG out of a shotgun? I'm gonna say that again. Black rifle coffee sucks, you cuck. <laughs> So here we have our lead sled that we're going to be putting the uh, the weapon in here uh, as far as fuck.